Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Michelle Lorenz and I'm so excited to be here talking to you about our company LifeVantage and how we use this genetic field called nutrigenomics to help you maximize your training, boost your recovery, and ultimately optimize your performance. So before we get started talking about how this impacts athletic performance, I wanted to give you a little bit of background on myself. My background's actually in the law. After law school, I worked for about 25 years managing litigation for crane and rigging companies all around the United States. I absolutely loved what I did. But when this opportunity got presented to me, I was already interested in this field of nutrigenomics, but I put my lawyer's hat on. And I spent a couple months doing research and checking out the science the way that I would if we were gonna cross-examine a witness on the stand. I looked into the peer-reviewed clinical studies. I went and listened to testimonials. I listened to expert witnesses. I did my own research and then I took the product myself. I was looking for evidence to refute or cross-examine this company and its products. I looked at the financial information, the company history, and ultimately I was overwhelmingly impressed with this fountain of evidence that convinced me this was the best professional opportunity I had ever seen and it was gonna enable me to help tons of people and animals. So for that reason, I'm so excited to be here talking to you about the evidence that convinced me tonight. And tonight we're gonna to focus on athletes in NRF1. So let's get started with the presentation. And I'm gonna go ahead and minimize myself and get myself out of the way here. So let's start with athletes. What's our objective here? Our objective is to help you gain an edge, to train harder, to train longer, to train more often so that you can get back into the gym, on the field, on the mats, on the court, whatever it is that's your passion to help you get back there. We wanna help you learn how to speed your recovery, to optimize your training and ultimately maximize your performance. And so how do we do that? Tonight, we're gonna to spend a little bit of time talking about both NRF1 and NRF2 and how those impact mitochondria and oxidative stress. But I wanted to give you kind of a big picture and how these interact with each other. So what you see on the screen is mitochondria. Each one of these is called a mitochondrion and mitochondria is where we get our energy for our cells and they interact with <clears throat> overall with our food. So when you eat food, that food is what supplies you with the fuel for your mitochondria. And your mitochondria then produce what's called ATP. And we're gonna talk a lot tonight about ATP. That's what athletes need for their energy, right? And so once you have ATP and you have that energy, you can go out and exercise. So it doesn't matter if you're a mom that's running around after the kids, or if you are a professional athlete, you need ATP. But unfortunately, as you utilize that oxygen when you're exercising and moving and living and breathing, you also produce free radicals. So your body makes them as a waste product, but you also get free radicals from exposure to environmental toxins of all sorts and types, right? And that ultimately leads to what we call oxidative stress in our body. And oxidative stress unfortunately causes aging, both at the cellular level and along our whole body. So what we do with our two flagship products here with LifeVantage is first of all, our NRF1 or NERF1 activator impacts mitochondria. And what it does is it helps our body produce more mitochondria. That's gonna be the focus of tonight's presentation. But in addition to that, our NRF2 activator or NERF2, it helps decrease the free radicals, power washing those free radicals out of our cells and ultimately helps us decrease our body's oxidative stress. And when we do that, we can slow down the cellular aging process. Now, science gets a little bit complicated, so I wanted to give you a simple way to remember it. Think about this like a fireplace. So in a fireplace, if you wanna burn a big fire, you want more logs on the fire and you want big, thick, healthy logs, not just little kindling, right? That's what produces a healthy fire. And then as you burn that fire, the waste product at the bottom of the fireplace is soot. And if you don't ever clean the soot out of your fireplace, your fire's not gonna burn well. So you want big, healthy logs to make a bigger fire and then you wanna get the soot out of the bottom of the fireplace so that your fireplace can burn well. Well, that's the same thing that happens inside your cells. Think of those logs just like mitochondria. You want more logs on the fire just like you want more mitochondria in your cells. And you want those mitochondria to be big and strong and buff, not little wimp wimpy little mitochondria. That's just like the logs in the fire. And then after you do your exercise, you get those free radicals in your cells. That's the same thing, just like soot 
at the bottom of the fireplace. So just like you clean the soot out of your fireplace, you wanna power wash those free radicals out of your cells so that your cells can operate better and ultimately you can perform better. Now, how does that work in the context of athletes? So let's focus on our flagship product that came out in 2016. This is called NRF1 or NERF1 activator. It, it impacts your body's mitochondria and ATP. So how does it do that? You can see here on the slide, these little things that look like worms, those are all mitochondria. And this is a little bit misleading. Most illustrations you see only have two or three mitochondrion in the cell. And unfortunately, that's not completely accurate. Actually, most cells have hundreds and some even thousands of mitochondria. Now, what you see here is mitochondria, there are engines of our cells. They produce up to 95% of our body's energy. And so it's really important. Your quality of life depends on your quality of mitochondria. If your mitochondria die, you die. That's how important they are. But in the context of athletic performance, your quality of performance also depends on the quality of your mitochondria. Now, how do we know that? Some of you may remember Greg LeMond. He is a, an internationally acclaimed um, cyclist. He won the Tour de France. He has one of the highest VO2 maxes ever recorded. And he authored a book with, an, with a physician. And in that book, he said, listen, athletes, we know how to feed our bodies. We're watching our carbs. We're watching our protein. Every athlete knows about that. But he said, the other thing that athletes should know is this word mitochondria. And you need to understand how it works in your body because mitochondria that word should be as common in an athlete's vocabulary as the words carb and protein. And so these are some things that came out of his book called The Science of Fitness. He said, listen, mitochondria use the reactivity of oxygen to turn our food and our body fat into energy for our muscles. They're where we get our athletic power. And what's really great is if you are an athlete and you push yourself hard, you're going to increase your mitochondria. You're going to create more of them and you're going to make the ones you have bigger and stronger. And on the opposite end of that spectrum, if you get injured, the lack of exercise, or if you're a couch potato, that decreases your body's mitochondria. So everybody always wonders why mitochondria, why people that are athletes live longer, live healthier, why doctors talk about it. It's because your exercise will boost your mitochondria and mitochondria are so important to our quality of life, right? So let's talk a little bit more. This is a study called the adaptation of skeletal muscle mitochondria to exercise. So what's the interaction between muscles and mitochondria? That's basically what we're talking about. What we know is that mitochondria, they comprise about four to 7% of our muscle fibers in our body. And if you are a professional athlete, it's gonna be on the higher end of the spectrum. If you're a couch potato, it's gonna be on the lower end of the spectrum. Your skeletal muscles have between, usually between 1,000 and 2,500. Smaller muscles like your bicep muscle, or your tricep may only have 200 to 300 mitochondria per cell. But what's amazing and why it's so important for athletes to watch their mitochondria is our heart. Our heart muscle has up to 5,000 mitochondria per cell, per cell. And so similarly, our brain and our, and our neurological system, our brain only weighs about 2% of our body's weight, but it utilizes up to about 20% of our mitochondrial energy. So it's really important that we keep our mitochondria functioning well for both our heart and our, our cardiovascular system and our neurological system. So if you have 5,000 mitochondria in each cell and you just have impairment to 10% of them, now you're down to 4,500, right? If you have impairment to 20% of them, now you're down to 4,000. Think about that overall impact on your ability to generate oxygen throughout your entire body if you're an athlete. So what we know is that exercise up here you see at the top is one way to boost your mitochondrial production. You see here that it creates ATP. We're gonna talk about that. The other thing that boosts mitochondria is intermittent fasting or caloric restriction. Both of those will boost your ATP, but now we have a third way, which is NRF1 activation. Now what's really fascinating is we know that if you are uh, like Michael Phelps here in the United States or down there in Australia, Ian Thorpe, they had tons of mitochondria because they've been pushing their bodies with endurance exercise, with high intensity interval training. And when you do that, those two types of training will boost your mitochondria by up to about 40%. 
On the opposite end of that spectrum, though, if you have an injury, there was a study talking about athletes that had blown out their ACL and their knee, and they had to have an immobilizer placed on their leg. And in just two weeks, the muscles in their leg that weren't being utilized, that were getting no exercise because they were non-weight bearing, that the mitochondria can decrease by as much as 30% in that period of time. So it's super, super important to do whatever we can to boost our mitochondria. Now you can see on this drawing, that's an excerpt from this presentation, there are genes that are impacted by this and you're gonna see there the genes that you're gonna hear a lot about, NERF1 and NERF2 genes are both impacted. And, and when NERF1 and NERF2 are activated, which is what we do here at LifeVantage, the field we've been a pioneer in, you can see that it impacts our mitochondria in all sorts of different ways. So that's how important the NERF1 activation and NERF2 activation are for mitochondria and ultimately for our performance. Now, what is in our NERF1 activator? You see it here. It's got five all-natural herbal ingredients. It is BSCG certified, just like all of our products, which means the Banned Substances Control Group. You can take our products and you don't have to worry about failing a drug test. It is not a performance-enhancing drug, right? But what's in it? We know alpha-lipoic acid, CoQ10, resveratrol from grape extract, quercetin, which comes from onions in the garlic family, and then acetyl L-carnitine. A lot of you may have had your personal trainer have you taking L-carnitine before a workout. Mine always did. I never knew why. I knew it helped my performance, but I didn't know how. What I know now is it was boosting my mitochondria and ultimately helping me perform better, create more endurance during my workouts. Now, what does our Nerf One Synergizer or Activator do? It limits the effect of cellular aging, limits mitochondrial dysfunction. It also enhances our existing mitochondria, so makes them bigger and stronger and healthier, just like those big logs on the fire. It stimulates the production of new mitochondria, so we're throwing more logs on the fire with this NERF1 activator. It helps support cognitive and brain health, helps support sleep quality and cellular prepare, and also supports our cardiovascular and circulatory systems. But importantly for athletes, it increases your cellular energy or your ATP. So that oxygen that's getting to your muscles, your oxygen that's getting to your heart. Now, let's look at what ATP is. Super important. Every athlete should know that adenosine triphosphate and our Nerf1 activator boost, your, boost the levels of ATP. And when you do that, ATP helps you maintain your muscle function longer. Now, what happens when you have longer muscle function? You're, you can train longer, you can train harder, you can train more often, and that helps boost your strength, it helps boost your speed, and helps boost your stamina. So this is just empowering your body to turn on its own system so it can optimize its own performance. Now, how does that impact what's called VO2, our VO2 max? So VO2 is a way that we measure our body's utilization of oxygen. So you see the athlete here with the mask over his face. They're measuring his body's uptake of oxygen and how he can get that to his muscles. Because if you take in oxygen, but it doesn't go to your muscles, that's not going to help you much improve your performance, right? So VO2 max isn't just a measure of oxygen you're taking in, but the oxygen that you're getting to your mitochondria again, that same word that Greg Lamont talked about. These are some examples of VO2 max. Most men run between 40 and 50. Most women are about 20% lower than men. And you see some examples of elite athletes here. Greg LeMond had one of the highest VO2 maxes ever recorded, 92.5. Typically it's cross country skiers and over in Norwegian countries and cyclists that tend to have the highest VO2 maxes, right? Now, what we know is when you boost your mitochondria, you create more ATP, and when you have more ATP, it helps you have a higher VO2 max. Again, how much, mus how much oxygen are you getting to your muscles? I loved this example, though, because this is nature, and you can see an illustration of what happens when other mammals have more mitochondria. So we think of some of the most elite athletes as being thoroughbreds, big industry bound there in Australia, right? And we know that thoroughbreds, that their average VO2 max is around 200. So about five times the amount of a regular human man who's not an athlete. But here's what's pretty powerful. Sled dogs. We know that Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies, those dogs that run in, in races like the Iditarod, they can run 100 miles 
day after day after day after day for weeks and sometimes months on end. How do they do that? They do that because dogs have 70% more mitochondria than humans. And just like human athletes, like Ian Thorpe and Michael Phelps, the more they train, the more efficient their bodies get, and their VO2 max can go from 175 of a regular dog up to 300 if it's a trained sled racing dog. So that's how big of a deal mitochondria is and how much it impacts our VO2 max. Wanted you to understand how significant it would be. Now, also important to you, we wanted to give you an illustration of what's in our Nerf One activator. You see that those are some of the nutrients that are known to boost mitochondria. The other two big impacts are glutathione, which is our master antioxidant. That boosts your mitochondrial production. And on the obviously green tea, both of those are in our Nerf One activator or Nerf Two activator as well that you'll hear about on a different presentation. There's some other things you can do to boost mitochondria, B vitamins, magnesium. That's why a lot of athletes take mag. Super, super important to athletes is to take omega-3s. Very, very critical to mitochondrial production. You should try to have about a two to one ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. So if you are an athlete, make sure these are part of your core supplement routine that you're taking your regimen on a daily basis but also make sure you know about the things that can damage your mitochondria. So we know that alcohol, you may, if you go and have a great workout and then you go have some beer after your workout, you're damaging the impact of the mitochondria that you just tried to boost. Statins, so if you have any family members that are taking statins for heart disease, those can actually damage your mitochondria. Antibiotics, metformin, a common diabetic drug, amphetamines damage your, your mitochondria. But what I thought was really profound is that even healthy people who don't have any meds that they normally take, there's some things that we might take because we're a little stiff or sore, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and aspirin, all of those things can also damage our mitochondria. So that's why we're so excited about our Nerf 1 and Nerf 2 activators, how they can work in tandem, and hopefully we don't have to take as much of that acetaminophen or ibuprofen because our body is being empowered to optimize its own health, right? Now, what we know about activated athletes, these are some of the people that are distributors here with our company, and some of them are some of just customers. There is an NCAA wrestling champion, one leg, he is Nerf 2 activated. Professional surfers, Nerf 2 activated. We've got Olympic champions and X Game international champions, gold medal winners. This gentleman is a 15 times national cycling champion out of South Africa. We have professional jockeys, both eclipse winning jockeys, as well as this jockey, who is just a customer, but he used, he actually ran in the Kentucky Derby this year, as well as in our Preakness. He's been, he's 55 years old, if I'm not mistaken, and he is using our Nerf 2 and Nerf 1 activators. You see marathon runners. This gentleman competes in triathlons and has won the Ironman Nerf 2 activated professional baseball players, college athletes, IFBB bodybuilding pros, professional volleyball players. And the important thing about all of these people is they are not paid endorsements. We don't pay them to use our products. They don't get free products. They use our products because they've seen the difference that activation makes in how their body trains, recovers, and ultimately performs. And so that's our goal here with Life Vantage. We want to help you, just as we mentioned, use Nerf 1 and Nerf 2 to get back on the court, back on the mat, on the slopes, in the pool, on the track, whatever it is that you're passionate about, to speed your recovery, to optimize your training, and ultimately empower you to maximize and get everything out of your training so that you can maximize your performance. So thank you everybody again for joining us tonight. My name is Michelle Lorenz and I'm so excited to have shared the, the news about NRF1 activation with you. Tune in to another call to hear about NRF2 activation as well. Have a great night everyone.